So uh, this webinar is going to be organized uh, in two parts. Uh, the first part, uh, the uh, uh, the first part will be recorded uh, and available on XDCI website. And uh, the second part, uh, mostly focusing on Q and A, uh, will not be recorded. So uh, there is two ways you can ask your question. You can uh, wait for the end of the presentation, or you can also use the chatter box uh, that you should have with uh, the WebEx. Uh, during uh, during the presentation. Okay, so so as you all know, there is a lot of money uh, being spent by the EU on HPC, uh, and this is uh, uh, deal with uh, with the CPPP, which is a private partner public partnership that includes uh, ATP for HPC, the COEs, and and EU. And this money is going to call for projects and projects, uh, and uh, it's driven by the road mapping effort and the community feedback. So this is in that uh, area we are um, uh, having this uh, this uh, webinar. So XDCI is a support actions, and one of the output of this support action is a set of recommendation. So we want to make sure that we have the right uh, recommendation, and we want to make sure that they are relevant for you. So we really need your opinion uh, on those. So the way it is, uh, the XDCI is organized. Uh, you have uh, uh, so the, the CSA, so there is a project, and there is two main partners, ATP for HPC and PRAISE. And most of the HPC uh, stakeholders belongs to one or both uh, organization. And XDCI is in charge of uh, making the communication with you. So the goal of the survey, uh, so one of the first thing is uh, to start to identify recommendations and uh, the road mapping efforts in co-design with you. Uh, we want to ensure that we have uh, accurate and consolidated feedback to the Commission. Uh, since uh, there is a lot of money spent, uh, we need to make sure that somewhere the Commission is happy and get uh, enough feedback to understand why this money, or where this money is spent. Uh, we need to share the information between us, uh, measure the impact of funding, uh, measure progress during the next years. So somewhere this is the first uh, survey, but uh, this survey will be used uh, next year, next year and maybe the year after, so we can actually show how the progress uh, is, is going. And uh, this is part of the uh, XDCI approach, and uh, the next step after this uh, survey is completed uh, is uh, to present you uh, at the HPC Summit, where we will be face-to-face -face, uh, the, uh, the summary. Uh, you must be aware that in 2017, there will be a midterm review of the H2020 uh, CPPP, uh, and this will go up to the Parliament. So. Uh, if they have the feeling the money is not well spent, we may end up in trouble. So the survey has uh, five sections. The first one is about the research and road mapping section. Uh, then we will, uh, it's about training, international collaboration, and the two other ones are more about KPIs uh, for uh, measuring uh, impact and assessing how it is going on. So the survey is at this address. Of course, you can uh, connect uh, to it if you want. So now we'll go through each section. It's not going to take a, a long time, uh, basically five minutes more. So the uh, one of the reasons what we need to identify is what is coming out of the project. So uh, we need to have a technical dialogue and uh, to 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 follow scientific and technical advances. We need to know what they are. So somewhere build a watch list and make sure uh, we know what you're doing and also give it uh, visibility. Uh, of course, all of the projects have been starting very soon, so you might feel that there is no need to talk about results yet, but somewhere uh, the, the time frame is quite um, critical here. Uh, if we wait the end of the project to say, okay, we have done this and that, it will be too late to disseminate it, to talk about it, and to uh, have any action on recommendation and so on. So somewhere we need to identify 
very soon what we should care about in the next years. And this will help organizing the uh, exchange between communities and that takes a very long time uh, and uh, or uh, to put to think about putting things in the recommendation very soon. So uh, that's why we are starting to ask you about what is going on in your project and so on. The training, uh, on the training part, uh, we need to have an inventory and basically what we do with that is to connect the demand and the production. Uh, so somewhere we need to know what you what you want and and what you're providing. Uh, on the international uh, collaboration, we need to make sure that our strategy is not completely disconnected or or incompatible with what is happening in in U USA, Japan, and Asia. So we need to understand the commonalities, the differences uh, between our effort, for instance. Uh, the U.S. is very uh, involved into this uh, national strategic computing initiatives, which is about HPC and data analytic convergence. Uh, so we need to understand where the uh, HPC uh, ecosystem in Europe uh, is uh, on that topic. So we also want to uh, give more opportunities for international collaborations and more visibility to the EU stakeholders. So in we are mostly talking about BDEC into the survey, uh, because uh, which is a series of workshops on, on big data and extreme scale computing that has been gathering people from uh, USA, Japan, Korea, China, etc. And and the central topic in here is how the data is influencing. Um, uh, so the, the issue with data is influencing the HPC. Uh, uh, workflows and, and ways of, of doing things. So uh, this has been uh, central to that and there is a workshop in IEC uh, in July and there is also a closed workshop uh, before. On the impact assessment, uh, we need to evaluate the ecosystem project. So, and this is, on this side, this is more innovation oriented. And of course, uh, as you all know, uh, this is very important for the Commission to show that it's not only research, but it's uh, uh, going to innovation, which means mostly business, and the topic on startup and SMEs is extremely important. One of the things here, and again, it's like the research agenda, if we want to uh, have some, some some impact, we need to identify very soon what we should do uh, so it can happen during the time frame of the project. So uh, we, even if it's preliminary or partial uh, and just projects, uh, it's better to talk about it now rather than wait that it is a more mature project or more mature uh, data and find out that there is no time to, to do anything about it. And the last part of the uh, uh, of the survey is about the KPIs themselves. And the idea behind these KPIs is that everybody, not only the EC, understand uh, what is happening uh, in the ecosystem. So uh, we know that these KPIs can be really tedious somewhere. I mean, it's, it's, it's not fun to feel, so I'm sure you know that. And, uh, but, but if we don't collectively make the effort of providing a good picture to the commissions, it's we are all going to pay. So somewhere we need to make that effort. Uh, the other thing is we need to show that there is an evolution. So by the time we need to show that there is more and more things going on. So somewhere uh, we want to give a good uh, vision of how oh, it is, uh, how the money spent on HPC is is improving the situation and getting more and more results. Oh, yeah. And so the uh, uh, so the deadline is end of April. Uh, it's mostly because uh, we would like to make a feedback and, and a, a, a synthesis of these feedbacks at the XDSI workshop uh, at the HPC summit in Prague, and this will be in May. So if we got everything end of April, it gives us uh, about a week to make uh, uh, something. You can fill the questionnaire online, uh, and uh, or you, we can set up a, a one-hour telco to do the interview, and we will uh, make the synthesis uh, ourselves, and so on. Okay, so that's for the presentation.